Hi, I'm Sarah with HowToRunARetailStore.com and today we are going to dive in to the biggest problem people get themselves into when you're changing over seasonal inventory. Now seasonal inventory, I don't mean Christmas you guys, I mean things like tropical print maxi dresses, hot pink earrings with flowers, things that are obviously spring summer and cannot be sold in fall winter. If you do not have a serious strict plan on how to transition this inventory, whether you're going from spring, summer to fall or from winter into spring, you guys are gonna lose so much money. Why? Because all of your tropical stuff is gonna end up on a clearance rack by the time you have launched fall. We start our transitional plan in July, July 1st, as I am making this video, it is the first week of July and we have already started to implement our plan. Now, we do it a little differently because we're here in Florida, but all that means is that we launch fall September 1st. I know that everyone else in the country launches it in August, but for us, it is still really hot here. So how we go do, through our transition is we, as of July 1st, every single thing in my back office that could be something very specific to summer, bright colors, prints, you name it, it's gotta be on the floor. Because as of August 1st, we start what we call pre-fall. Now pre-fall is going to be lighter colors. So it's gonna be neutrals and maybe some sages and olives, a lot more tans and browns and things that we can incorporate with on the sales floor all of our tropical prints and things that we're still trying to sell through from summer but it's not a sweater it's not a very strict fall item it's just beginning that process so the entire month of july we're trying to only put out the rest of our colorful very summer items then as of august 1st we start doing pre-fall and August through se September 1st, all we're trying to do is mute our sales floor, right? So we start adding in all of these very neutral colors in between all of our brights and prints. And then September 1st, we can launch our official fall. What this does is it really helps to transition the sales floor in a color scheme that isn't going to be super crazy and stark to the consumer. It's not like they walk in and as of September, you have all of these colorful racks still in their face and then sweaters right next to it. That doesn't make any sense to the consumer. But you also don't wanna to have to put all of your summer that's left over on sale. So you really wanna have this timeline mapped out. Another thing that helps us is we always have a 40% off rack. We stick it outside because we're in a busy area, but leading up to what we are doing, our pre-fall and fall launches, we are taking things off of that 40% off rack and storing it in the back for a sidewalk sale. We actually have two really large sidewalk sales that we do in the summertime. One is called the Sunrise Sale, and you guys, <laughs> This year is the 50th annual sunrise sale. This is not what I made up. I'm not 50, I'm 40. Um, but I've done it my entire life. It is a sale that is all over the city. It was started by a um, small business organization. It's called the Downtown Business Association here in St. Petersburg. When I was growing up, my mom had a boutique starting in 1991 and she did the sunrise sale every single year. So that's what I mean. I've done it my entire life and it actually starts at sunrise. It's really cute. Everybody shows up in their pajamas and there's breakfast. Everybody starts breakfast. The um, restaurants all get involved. It is just a super fun day all the way around. But this business organization started it 50 years ago to really drum up business in the summertime when it is so dang slow. But for us, it really helps to start pushing out that old inventory. So when we're pulling things off of our 40% off rack, I'm creating sidewalk sale items that are all under $20, right? So 20, 15, sometimes I'll do some accessories at 10, 
And then when we do this sidewalk sale, we stick it outside and um, blow it out and continuing to add to our 40% off rack at the same time. So sunrise sale is actually July 20th, it's next week. We're still getting ready. And so we are still going to do an end of season sale at the end of August at the same time. Right before we launch fall, we wanna do that last push and get out anything that has really been sitting, that super bright tropical print that you may have had for several months and it's just gone through the ringer. We'll stick it outside, do our own sidewalk sale at that time, really try and get out some of that old inventory so that when we launch fall, we have an entire store that is prepped and ready because we have spent a month putting pre-fall items out. That way, when we go to put all of our beautiful fall pieces out, that suede and those great sweaters and corduroys, we're sticking it next to tank tops in brown and tan. We're sticking it next to maybe some great uh, trouser shorts, but it's in some darker colors so that the color scheme of your sales floor makes sense. But more importantly, you're not losing a ton of money. You start it at the beginning, you come up with the plan, and you guys, we have done this for 13 years, and I'm telling you, it is the best way to optimize your inventory. Okay, I hope this helps. As always, please like and subscribe. We're on TikTok, we're on Instagram. You can see all my links below. I love to hear your comments, especially stuff like this, because we're all doing it. We are all transitioning. We're all putting stuff on sale. If you have any questions, please comment below. I would love to talk to you guys, and we'll talk to you soon.